Still hanging on to a few areas of light rain this morning, but it is pushing east and weakening this weather system. So that means by the afternoon, I think we're going to be dry. But again, if you're just about to head out the door and you live in the foothills, maybe you're still getting occasional rain along Interstate 80, Highway 50, and even 88, and even in the San Joaquin Valley, still seeing a few pockets of light rain. But that'll be drying up as we go throughout the day. So a good looking afternoon and evening is ahead because it's going to be dry. All right, if you're getting ready for a holiday party, cheese boards, they're a great appetizer, especially if you're serving wine, right, Eileen? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But do you know how to put a cheese board together? We've no, got, no, no. I don't either. <laughs> it's Cheese Board 101. I have officially called it that. Rebecca Baker is here from Nugget Market. So you're a cheese expert. That's what they call me. Yeah, cheese connoisseur. Okay. Um, I have the board, but I don't really know. I haven't really used it. And I have all the little things, but what do you? Where do you begin? There's so well, many the cheeses. first thing I want to show you is just how easy it is to entertain with cheese. So I'm actually going to just assemble a cheese board while I talk to you. Okay. Um, so the first thing you want to think about is when are you going to be serving this? You know, is it going to be before dinner? Is it going to be after dinner? Um, because that's going to really, you know, tell you what what you should be serving. Um, so you could do a cheese board after dinner. This one over here is a dessert cheese board. Ooh. Actually, <laughs> salt and uh, my salt cheese blown. and chocolate. Right? Oh my There's goodness! There's never a bad time to serve cheese. So True. the next thing you want to think about is what is your selection, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I always recommend serving an odd number of cheeses. It mm -hmm. just looks better. So as you can see, we have five, we have three, we have three again. Hmm. Um, the no even numbers. No even numbers. It's like decorating numbers. and writing. Rolling exactly. Threes. It's always going to look better with odd numbers. Now I see a soft cheese here. Now you're touching a hard cheese you're about to put in the middle. Yes. Is there a strategy to that? Exactly. That's the next piece of the puzzle is variety. Um, there's such a thing as, it's called palate fatigue. Hmm. So what we do is you want to have a variety of textures, a variety of milk types. You can include cow, sheep, milk, um, or goat's milk as well. Hmm. Um, but as you can see, once you have the selection down, and to get that, I would suggest going into your local nugget market, talking to the, one of the cheesemongers there. They're going to help you pick it out. You know, we're there to help make you the hero of your own party. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, once you add the accoutrements, you have a cheese board. That's awesome. Okay, so good soft, semi-soft, hard, and mm -hmm. then you have a little bit of the salt here mm -hmm. and some meat and then also the dried fruit dried a little fruit. sweet. So the way I think about cheese boards is it's almost like the cheese is just the, the little black dress, if you will, mm. and then the accoutrements are the accessories, the things that really jazz it up and take it to the next level. Now you're speaking our language. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> what would the high heels be? What would the heels be? Oh, the fig jam. The fig of jam. Of course. Yeah, so you can look at, fig jam, huh? you know, you can look at nuts, you know, any kind of charcuterie, um, dried or fresh fruits, and mm -hmm. then condiments are really popular. So we have a fig jam, we have a honey. Yeah, talk a little bit about this dessert cheese board. Yeah, that's a really we've got exciting that now. All right, so we've got a triple creme. We've got a goat's milk Gouda from um, Holland. It's called Midnight Moon. Mm -hmm. And then the really exciting one, if you can take a look at this, it's a blue cheese soaked in red wine mm. that's topped with cranberries. It's almost more of a cake than a cheese. So when it comes with dessert ones, you want to go for the really decadent cheeses. And then you're also going to serve it with something equally decadent for pairing. So we have a black Robusto Porter from Drake's, really chocolatey, really mm. silky and a sparkling brut rosé as well. That's pretty. That is a <laughs> showstopper right That there. is. And as you can see, it's like and the, the night same amount that. of time as it took me to put that together. So easy, so convenient, and it looks so impressive. Okay. Fancy. Rebecca, yeah. thank you so much. All right, thanks for joining us this morning. Our next newscast is coming up tonight at 5, right here on KCRA 3. Still hanging on to a few areas of light rain this morning, but it is pushing east and weakening this weather system. So that means by the afternoon, I think we're going to be dry. But again, if you're just about to head out the door and you live in the foothills, maybe you're still getting occasional rain along Interstate 80, Highway 50, and even 88, and even in the San Joaquin Valley, still seeing a few pockets of light rain. But that'll be drying up as we go throughout the day. So good looking afternoon.